Welcome back to another Lincoln Tech Tip. There are two basic ways to get your car's horsepower from the engine to the transmission, and that's a clutch or a torque converter. And while they perform the same job, they're actually very, very different. And they can seem complicated, especially a torque converter, so let's dig in and figure out how they work. A clutch is a mechanical coupler that works on easy to understand principles. The main components are a flywheel, clutch disc, and pressure plate. The flywheel and pressure plate are bolted to the engine with the clutch disc clamped to the flywheel by the pressure plate. The clutch disc is connected to the transmission through the input shaft and that is what drives the car. When the clutch pedal is pressed, it releases the pressure of the pressure plate, disengaging the clutch so that the engine is disconnected from the transmission and you can now shift the transmission. And when the pedal is released, the pressure plate clamps the clutch disc to the flywheel and power is again transferred from engine to transmission. The torque converter in an automatic transmission serves the same purpose as the clutch in a manual transmission. The engine needs to be connected to the rear wheels so the vehicle will move and disconnected so the engine can continue to run when the vehicle is stopped. One way to do this is to use a device that physically connects and disconnects the engine and transmission, like a clutch. Another method is to use some type of fluid coupling, such as a torque converter. Now imagine you have two fans facing each other. The first fan will blow air across the second fan, causing it to spin. But if you hold that second fan, the first fan will continue to spin. That's exactly how a torque converter works. One fan, called the impeller, is connected to the engine. Together with the front cover, it forms the outer shell of the converter. The other fan, the turbine, is connected to the transmission input shaft. Unless the transmission is in neutral or park, any motion of the turbine will move the vehicle. Depending on the design of the impeller and the turbine, driving characteristics like stall speed and torque multiplication can all be tailored to each application. Okay, so now that everyone has a basic understanding of how a clutch and a torque converter work, let's head to the track. Lincoln Tech can teach you how to have a career working with cars. See lincolntech.edu.